Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have one final story for you. This one is a story captured by Ernest Thompson Seton, who was one of the founders of the Boy Scouts of America, and as such, unfortunately, has well the reputation for having appropriated quite a number of Native American tales and traditions, or thought he was, and he probably wasn't doing them correctly. And that brought me to this story, one that I wanted to share, because, well, it brings up a question of whether this is a traditional tale, whether it has been accurately captured and portrayed by Seton, or whether it's just been something that he came to on his own. And I've looked and searched I haven't seen anything, but please, if you have some insight, let me know. Drop me an email or catch me on Twitter and let me know if there's some historical record of one of these tales. This is How the Chestnut Burrs Became. In the woods of Peconic, there once roamed a very discontented porcupine. He was forever fretting. He complained that everything was wrong till it was perfectly scandalous, and the great spirit, getting tired of his grumbling, said, You and the world I have made don't seem to fit. One or the other must be wrong, it's easier to change you. You don't like the trees, you're unhappy on the ground, and think everything is upside down, so I'll turn you inside out and put you in the water. This is the origin of the shad. After Manitou had turned the old porcupine into a shad, the young ones missed their mother and crawled up into a high tree to look for her coming. Manitou happened to pass that way, and they all chattered their teeth at him, thinking themselves safe. They were not wicked, only ill-trained. Some of them, indeed, were at heart quite good, but, oh, so ill-trained. And they chattered and groaned as Manitou came nearer. Remembering then that he had taken their mother from them, he said, You look very well up there, you little porky, so you had better stay there for always and be part of the tree. This was the origin of the chestnut burrs. They hang like a lot of little porcupines on the tree crotches. They're spiny and dangerous, utterly without manners, and yet most of them have a good little heart inside. And that is How the Chestnut Burrs Became, a story from Ernest Thompson Seton. And, you know, like I mentioned before, I've searched and come up empty on finding an origin for either of these tales. But please, if you have a record or know or have heard them from someone else, please let me know. I'd be happy to update everyone as well as know for myself. This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next week, we'll be back with three new stories. As always, thank you so much for listening.